Good morning. We're in Burnie finding coffee. And uh, Fran is looking yeah. completely embarrassed. You're fine, Jimmy. And we're discovering all the places that have sprung up since we left. <laughs> Don't give me that fake laugh. Yeah. the camera. We're going to a cafe called Hot Mamas. Apparently, my mother has found my little sister a new job as a chef. Of course, my little sister doesn't really want a new job as a chef in Bernie yet. Uh oh. Is Monday a day off? It's looking very dark. Have a look over there. Do you know what that is? The big red door. What is it? It's the bank vault. This used, this used to be a bank. It's the old bank vault, and they're so big and heavy and built into the building you can't take them out. But there's a room not working out for me. Coffee's ready. As are the bran apple cinnamon muffins. And Freya's having issues. Dude, you're so gonna drop that all over yourself. <laughs> chewing, chewing gum on them. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> it's really classy. At least stick it behind your ear. I was gonna say, Mum's glasses. I've got lots of pictures of Danielle wearing various people's glasses. Hi. I'm attempting to make some peach sorbet out of peaches from over, over at the orchard, and I'm pushing. Pushing it through a sieve, getting all the juicy goodness. And there's the skins and um, stones there. White flesh peaches. Look at how pink some of the colour color is there. And then I'm probably going to add a little bit of sugar syrup and then chill it and then put it in an ice cream maker. Freya wants to use this as a face mask. Mask spelled M A S Q U E. Whatever. Um, look at that. Imagine that slathered all over your face. Ew, gross. She won't be here for at least another hour. Give me five. Okay, Yeah, I'll move that stuff out in a sec. Well, I'll, after I do this, I'm going to go give her a bath and get her ready for bed. So that stuff will move. Just going to check on stage two of the sorbet. I've got um, my mixture of uh, peach pulp juice and um, some a little bit of sugar syrup that's had lemon rind infused and a little bit of lemon juice just to try and stop the juice browning too much. And I'm chilling that in the freezer to get it as cold as possible before putting it into this thing which when it's combined with the rest of the ice cream machine will churn it um, hopefully into a nice uh, sorbet type consistency consistency <sighs> Phase three of the peach sorbet. So we've got the chilled, chilled goodness in there. It's been in the freezer for a couple of hours and it's still not frozen. Here's the ice cream maker jobby and the other bits over there. So we're going to pour that in there. Jacques going to help me and um, turn this on and it'll spin around and hopefully. <laughs> Be delicious. Nobody here believes me. Everyone's laughing at me, talking to the camera. You need to be out of here. You probably need. Yep, yeah, that's good. Oh, bit closer over, over, further over. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. See how it's starting. Oh, see how it's starting to um. Freeze already on the edge. Hey Jack, could you just stir that a little bit slowly while I go and get the rest of the bits? Thank you. Cool. It's already 
icing up. Awesome. Look at that. See there's chunks of ice in there already. That's the secret. Chilling it in the freezer first so it's nearly frozen. How's the sorbet going? What's it look like? Describe what it looks like. Uh, ice. Ice? Yep. What colour? Brownish purplish. You're Does it look like it's going to be tasty? Hello. Another long day. I'm just editing today's vlog and realised we got up to phase three of the sorbet. Um, I guess phase four was taking it out of the ice cream maker. It wasn't quite frozen as much as it needed to be to be able to be scooped out. I put it in a then in an ice cream container, um, like a plastic tub, and put it back in the deep freeze. Um, so hopefully it'll freeze firm but not be too icy because it's been churned um do you like these churned um and i have some tomorrow sometime hmm not much else to report really just mostly been catching up with family and hearing news of how my grandfather's doing and yeah um that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the bits and pieces about the sorbet. Um, yeah, that's about it really. That's all you saw other than having coffee and muffins. Seems like this is going to be a short vlog, so I might as well mention something I was thinking about a little while ago. So, along with a few other vloggers like Shay Tards and... Um, Charles Trippy and Ali Speed. I've been watching Cassandra, aka Nerds RL, um, for the last little while since she was on the stations watching you. She said something on a recent vlog about her appeal to kids as well as adults, as far as a vlogger and um, people being interested in watching, and kind of thinking about that and also about vlogging in general because um, often people who are vlogging aren't necessarily doing the most amazingly interesting or different things at least to them it might seem really like a, a boring normal day and I was thinking about okay well, what do I find interesting about watching these vloggers on the other side of the world or at home um, and I think it's just something different you you're seeing into somebody's world that isn't your own and you will find some things familiar which I guess gives you a bit of a connection and you'll also find some new things which you find a bit interesting even if to that person they're not particularly different or interesting so that's I guess why I continue watching people on YouTube Just catching up with what people have been doing real people with real lives and seeing how successful they can become just doing what they love to do um, and being consistent about it there's a guy give me motion who has some amazing songs um, works with nice Peter as well he um, was recently talking about consistency and started doing some little moments of songs um, it's a really nice idea he, yeah he was talking about consistency and I think that's that's the thing plug away at what you do as long as you love it eventually that'll come through somebody will find you and you'll find them vice versa and build up an audience and you feed off each other I suppose um, so what I'm meaning by all of this is well why would I continue vlogging um, I'm not getting a whole bunch of views right now but um, for one thing I kind of enjoy it it makes me look at the world in a different way um, it gives me kind of a routine which I'm actually finding kind of cool. I'm getting experience editing videos. I'm becoming more confident about putting myself forward in 
everyday life, just, you know, not worrying about talking to a camera in front of people. That's just what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> and I also have a bit of faith that it doesn't really matter if no one watches these, but someone somewhere will probably find them interesting because I have found videos that people have made interesting and they're not any more peculiar than what I've been doing really. Anyway, do you know what I mean? Consistency. Do what you love, keep doing it, never give up. If it doesn't work, try again. Tweak it a bit, try it a bit differently. Don't give up. That's the message I'm getting from all of this. Yeah. That's about it. That's about enough. I think I've probably filled up my quota for the day. But um, anyway, good night.